three months post op follow appointment with my hernia repair surgery. So I am gonna be heading out in a little bit, but before I head out, I do wanna give you a little update of how I have been recovering ever since my surgery. So I have been having a lot of ups and downs during my surgery, but before I start with that, I am gonna be showing you my hernia repair incisions of how they are looking. So they are looking really great. That's what my doctor told me on my last postal follow appointment when he saw me about two months ago. So this is how they look. So this is how my this is how my incisions are looking so far. They do look a little dark, but if y'all didn't know, I ended up having seven incisions, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. But so far, they are looking really great. And y ya no me duelen tanto like how they were hurting from the beginning but now the only thing that I am struggling a lot with during my recovery from the beginning of my two weeks post-op was that I didn't notice that I had been burping way too much so I ended up telling my doctor whenever I had went for my two weeks post-op and he ended up prescribing me medication but also he ended up telling me to get over the counter meds for the burping for the acid but none of those ended up working so whenever I went back again for my two months post-op follow-up appointment I ended up bringing it back to them about it, that it wasn't working, that I would still continue to burp a lot. So I will see y'all once I'm already at the clinic. So you are still taking the reglin and it's not helping. No, it's not working. Like right now, my way over here, I was burping and I haven't even ate nothing yet. Okay. So burping and constant. Yeah, like bloating. right now I feel bloated. Like okay. So I feel like. <sighs> okay. All right. And yeah, like I talked to you, and I'm just gonna probably want want to talk to you about this G polo, okay. which is a procedure that you don't need no incisions from outside. He puts in the scope and then do the procedure. He will explain to you. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm just waiting on my doctor to come and talk to me and give me my results of one of the test exams that he did on me. So, a ver que me dice. Hi. Hi, doctor. How you doing, Tanya? Good. Wash my hands. Good to see you. I know we know each other, but I have the safety thing I have to do. Would you mind just verifying full name and date of birth before it's we start? Melissa Pena, yeah. 12793. Perfect. Matches up. All right. Um, so I, I know we're here to regroup about how you did with the medicines. It sounds like it, from mm -hmm. it wasn't really working too well. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, when we did your surgery, we saw that you had some more work done than you probably thought you had done as a kid. And I suspect that something doesn't empty well because of all that. And we confirmed that with that emptying study where you ate those, where you got the scrambled eggs. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of good medicines for that. Um, Reglin, the one that you had is the main one. Um, some people will use erythromycin, an antibiotic. It does work a little bit, but tends to wear off and have some side effects and not very popular. Okay. Um, uh, th there's a drug that can't get in the U.S. It's in Canada because it was there was some cardiovascular side effects called domperidone um, could, could be trialed, uh, but I'd recommend we just do an intervention to try to just uh, put it to rest. Okay. Um, the, what we do is cut the muscle between the stomach and intestine. Okay. Now we could technically do this surgically again, okay. or we can also do it with the plan would be to do it endoscopically just through the mouth. Okay. What we do is we. Um, This is how kind of our usual sketches. There's a valve here called the pylorus to the stomach and intestine. So we're gonna go inside the stomach and make a little hole in the stomach, in the lining of the stomach, not all the way through, but just that top lining. Tunnel between that and the muscle layers, expose this ridge of muscle, the pylorus, then cut it, then come back and close this with clips. Okay. Um, when we do this laparoscopically, surgically, there's about a 10% risk that things go through you too fast, it works too good. Okay. Something called dumping. Um, even feel a little bit dizzy with sugars or swings in your insulin levels. Um, we, just, we tend to see that much, much less, don't really understand why when we do it endoscopically. Okay. So I'd prefer to go that way, which is the plan. Okay. Very safe, done lots of these. Minor risks, um, things I really haven't seen would be leakage from this cut point. Um, that it's never been an issue, or incomplete closure of this, also never been an issue. If that happens, we would just go back and add some more clips to that with the scope, um, or bleed in this tunnel. You're not on blood thinners, so that risk is very low. Mm -hmm. We would just watch you overnight, okay. uh, make sure you're okay, get you on liquids, and park you again on a thicker liquid diet for two weeks to be gentle to that area, and then slowly advance you. Okay. But I'd recommend that we go there as a next step because you've done kind of other things. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm like, I thought I was already good after the hernia repair. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna be better. But yeah. then yeah. that's where I started noticing that I was burping way too much. Yeah. And then the yeah. other doctor, that's when he told me to get the medications over the counter, but they didn't help yeah. until you, y'all prescribed me the new one. Yeah. But I've been taking that one until mm -hmm. now yeah. and it hasn't even helped me. Yeah. The other technical option would be a gastric bypass, okay. which would be a little bit aggressive. You're not that big of a person, you're younger in life, no diabetes and things. So I think we try other things first. Yeah, because um, also like I have noticed that there's <coughs> days where I can eat good and mm -hmm. there's days where I can and I get my stomach bloated like after I finish my yeah. meal. I, I think and, it's all and, that empty and problems. And yeah. then I feel like pressure yeah. and then if I drink water, yeah. Um, and then like 10 minutes later, I burp, like the water comes back and it sticks right here. Mm -hmm. Or the, both from the acid, I can feel like the taste of it as well. Like okay. in my throat, so I'm like. Ugh. I think the, the stomach is definitely adding to the problem. Do you have trouble with constipation at all? I have been having constipation as well. Okay, let's plan on that procedure then. Okay, sounds good. Then. Again, it takes about 45 minutes, you're in the hospital just overnight. Okay, um, sounds good. Minimal, minimal pain, it's still surgery on the inside, you might have a little, Gassy discomfort that usually goes away pretty quickly. Okay, sounds good. I just finished having my appointment with my doctor. Y lo que no quería escuchar, lo tuve que escuchar. So, my doctor just told me that I am going to need another procedure for my stomach. But right now, the nurses are going to come to schedule my procedure you look good i wish i was that good i know you wish you were feeling how you look i'm sure i'm like if it's not one thing it's, it's another, another thing. oh my goodness okay so he wants to do your procedure on tuesday the 11th so that's not next week but the week after okay uh, the only important thing is you have to go on a liquid diet two okay. days before two days before so this is it you'll start sunday the night this is what you can have okay and then you'll continue it on monday okay so until the day oh no because the procedure is on a tuesday, tuesday. Yeah. okay so sunday monday clear liquids clear and liquid. then stopping everything at midnight on monday okay
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this was a overdue video. So as y'all got to see from the last clip, I never ended up finish it or ended up giving y'all a update of what y'all got to hear already. So as y'all got to hear, I am gonna be getting surgery once again. And I'm going to be telling y'all the reason why I'm going to be having another surgery in a couple of days. So my surgery, it is going to be this October, Tuesday the 29th. But before I explain why and give y'all the reason, let me go back to February. So as you might or might not have watched my previous vlog from my hernia repair surgery so i ended up having a hernia repair surgery back in february so while i was recovering from my surgery i started noticing in the two or three months in from recovering that I started noticing that I will be burping way too much, like non-stop. So if I will eat my food today and the following day, and then following day, I will be burping like non-stop all the food from the days before. So I knew that wasn't normal. So I gave it time to go away, but it wouldn't go away. So I ended up sending my doctor an email on my chart to explain to him that I was burping like nonstop. And that also just a little bit, I would get bloated and I would still have like food or any water come up back to me to my throat so I will feel it still stuck in my garganta so I ended up sending my doctor an email and he ended up telling me to go get some over-the-counter medication for the acid reflux but I tried it for a couple of weeks and it wasn't working so I ended up giving him a call once again and he ended up sending a prescription to the pharmacy for me to give it a try for a whole month to see if that medication would work instead of the over-the-counter but tampoco it didn't work so they ended up scheduling me an appointment to come in to see my doctor but before I ended up going to my follow-up appointment with them to see what we we're gonna do next if my burping was it going away. So my doctor ended up sending some orders for me to get done a testing. So this testing was a four-hour test and it was called if I'm saying it right, if not, I am going to be putting it right here, the correct name. So the testing of the four hour was called Grastic Entomy Sol Solid. So that testing is pretty much about, I had to go in and eat a little meal that they will give to me for me to eat before my testing so that testing it shows you how your food gets dilated to towards your stomach so every hour they would take some x-rays of my esophagus on my throat to see how my food was going down to my stomach so I did that around May so I had that testing done around May so after I had that test done 
I ended up having my appointment with my doctor so he ended up explaining me the the test result from the plastic entomy test came out that my food no se estaba digestando I don't know how to say it in English but pretty much like no estaba digestando bien mi comida so like cuando yo comía algo mi comida se pasaba slowly to my stomach so it would be hard for me to get full so pretty much what the doctor explained to me is that my food was getting to my stomach really slow so each time that I will be eating I would get full really quick me tardaba en llenar con la comida so pretty much whenever I will be full already after so many meals that's when all the food will be coming up back up to my throat so that's why I will feel like the burping like non-stop so as y'all got to see on the previous video of my doctor telling me about my procedure that's where he explained to me a little bit um, my results pretty much the reason why I'm going to another procedure is because of my burping even though I've been having non-stop surgeries back to back to back and I haven't really recovered from my previous one which was my hernia repair that's how my life is it's gonna be unexpected surgeries and doctor's appointments y todo así. but I just hope that this upcoming procedure that I'm gonna be getting done for my burping yeah I won't be struggling no more because the doctor did also explained to me that it's gonna be a procedure done by endoscopy they're gonna cut something in my stomach so to make sure I'm not burping no more but the reason also why that happened is because cuando me hicieron mi cirugía en febrero para mi hernia repair my doctor did explain my family and me that they had to go deep in into my hernia repair while inside my stomach because if you if you do or you do not know I did have a G2 button right here growing up so my doctor told me that while they were doing my hernia repair surgery, they noticed that cuando a mí me hicieron mi cirugía de my G2 en mi estómago, él miró en las imágenes while he was doing my surgery that the surgery that they had done to me 28, 29 years ago, when I was a baby, me hicieron una cirugía on my G2 in my stomach. Really crazy. So he had to go in and fix a little bit of my stomach inside. But pretty much what he told me is that that's probably the reason why I am having the burping because of my previous, previous, previous surgeries that I had when I was a baby. So, I'm hoping that this surgery that I'm gonna be getting done, yeah, I will not be having any problems anymore. Pero, 
so far that's the reason why I am gonna be getting surgery once again because of my burping so I hope that I really got to explain a little bit and I wasn't all over the place because as much as much as I try to explain it it is a little bit hard to understand what I'm gonna be going through but the surgery that I'm gonna be getting done is called a G poem so I'm gonna be putting it right here because I don't know if I'm saying it right along with the meaning of what the procedure is about so that way I can have an idea of the procedure that I'm gonna be getting but lo único que quiero is que todo salga bien during my procedure because tengo 30 años ya voy para los 31 this December pero toda mi vida desde que estaba chiquita he estado en hospitales hospitales cirugías cirugías doctor con doctores transfusiones de sangre o muchas cosas que he pasado durante mi vida pero yo sé que soy fuerte y yo sé que voy a seguir adelante y todo va a salir bien con mi cirugía que también voy a tener que estar prior to my surgery two days in a row I'm gonna have to be just on clear liquid no puedo comer nada until I don't even know when but I really did try my best for this video to sound as much good for y'all to know the update that I'm gonna be going through for my next surgery. I'm also gonna be answering some questions that y'all some of the subscribers did comment on my previous video of my hernia repair surgery so I'm gonna be answering them so I'm gonna be putting it the comment right here as a question that I'm gonna ask hola oyes y hasta el día de hoy como te has sentido de tu cirugía a mi me la hicieron apenas un mes y tengo dolor en el estómago bueno desde febrero hasta hoy me ha sentido bien de mi cirugía ya no he tenido muchos problemas así la única es que estoy repitiendo mucho pero aparte de eso um, estoy bien me siento bien hay a veces que si sí, mi estómago se siente like, inflamado like, que me siento empachada y pues cuando tomo agua o lo que sea todavía siento poquito en mi garganta pero aparte de eso me siento bien so this is the second question total random question they let you wear press on nails in all my surgery they told me they told me no press on nail or nail polish. I get this so they can look at your fingernail and see if your oxygen enough for something. Um, to be honest, um, I had never had problems with my doctor telling me about not having nails or press on. And I had I have had my lashes done my nails done and I had never had a problem with them to check my um, oxygen my yeah my oxygen levels but maybe every hospital or every doctor is different from my hospital and doctors that I go to 
but to answer the question no i had never had any problems with me having my nails on yo también tengo una hernia y tal pero me da miedo hacerme la cirugía ya que pasó mes de tu cirugía ya que pasó mes de tu cirugía ya no te sientes ni una molestia la razón por cual yo me tuve que hacer mi operación de mi hernia es porque con la enfermedad que yo tengo no me la querían hacer pero mi mi hernia estaba de un tamaño de un de una pelota del golf y nunca me la querían operar mis doctores pero llegó el momento que me la tuvieron que operar so, por eso fue la razón de cual tuve mi cirugía pero si tú te sientes cómoda en hacértela adelante hazte tu cirugía pero si no te sientes cómoda y te da miedo entonces no te la hagas Tú sabes tu cuerpo y si tu cuerpo te dice que sí o que no, tú eres la única razón por cual si la, te la quieres hacer o no. Pero también depende lo que te digan tus doctores. Si ellos te dicen que no te la tienes que hacer ahorita, no te la hagas. Pero si dice que sí y más si tienes síntomas de que no te sientes bien o algo pues por mi parte yo te recomiendo que sí verdad que sí te lo hagas pero si en realidad te sientes bien hasta este punto no te lo hagas mejor quédate como estás y es lo único que te puedo recomendar y decir y también como ya le contesté a la al otro comentario yo no me no me molesta nada yo me siento bien nomás lo único pues lo mismo que es que yo repito mucho y cuando repito mucho toda la acidez se me viene hasta la garganta y es un una molestia bien fea porque se siente el sabor del ácido en mi garganta so, nunca en mi vida yo me he vomitado pero llegó al punto de que el acidez me hizo vomitar so, por eso fue la razón por la que voy a tener la cirugía que voy a tener uh, en estos días que vienen Next question is Hi, I just saw your video, your surgery, and how are you feeling now? Why you had surgery? What were your system? If you don't mind to share. So, I am feeling good after having my surgery back in February. From February to now in October, to October, and I've been feeling great, okay. The only problem is, you know, that my burpee is non-stop and whenever I burp, it does make me want to throw up. But besides that, the systems that I had and that I feel for my hernia repair was that my stomach will get bloated a lot and I will feel so much acid in my throat and also whenever I will eat any meals or I will drink my water or anything like that I will feel my water being stuck in my throat and then my food I will feel it also stuck but it will take a uh, long to go down my stomach but in reality, I never had anything stuck in my throat. So that was one of the sy systems that I got to experience from my hernia repair that I will feel all the food stuck in my, my throat along with my water, along with my medications as well. And 
and I will get bloated really fast or there were days I couldn't eat anything because I will get full really quick and I will get bloated but that was pretty much my systems of me experience from my hernia repair this is another question hola que tenias mucho reflujo si sí, tenia mucho reflujo y esa fue la razón por cual tuve que tener mi hernia repair surgery porque cuando comía algo pues cuando comía algo la comida se venía para atrás para mi para mi garganta y pues sentía la acidez y mucho reflujo so, por eso fue la razón por la cual me operado de mi hernia repair pretty much all the questions that i'm answering are pretty much the same thing it's pretty much they are asking me how i'm feeling what was their surgery about if i had a lot of um, acid reflex so this is the last question how are you now issues gone with the hernia so i am doing good already well that's how i feel i feel good but the only issue that i am going through is just my non-stop burping and i do get bloated here and there along with acid reflex but that's only because of my burping that i feel all the acid towards my throat but pretty much i am feeling good but hopefully with my upcoming procedure that i'm going to be getting done for the burping it will be everything good after that so this will be the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video bye